Now we finna um get ready. Just gotta devour it and shit. But um finna make a shake, shower, and then off to the races. Today's session was a little bit different, but you know for the most part it was what it was and like I say, it's just everything been in my mind, not crashing out, you know, saying not taking stuff too serious, you know, but still locking in on the um, four weeks out from 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 the meet. And maybe I'm nervous, but I don't know. It's just been a lot of other things in life that's been going on. And it's like, shit, I be helping everybody else. But who the fuck gonna help me? You feel me? At times, that's how I be. So it's like I've been learning just to distance myself and silence myself and don't feel bad about saying no or not helping people because when it's when the, when the shoe on the other foot, people will look the other way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like people discredit everything that you do do in life. When you when you change, bro, you you gotta realize like ain't nobody really gonna have your back. You know, if people still stuck in that cycle of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over them changing is very uh like unlikely. So at the end of the day, it's like. I've been learning, like, I just got to stick to myself when it comes to certain things. Um, my back downs and everything else felt good, like, when when it came to lifting. Uh, my back not fatigued. I'm not fatigued. Um, a lot of things just come to mindset, man. Like, I can't give up on myself. And sometimes I catch myself giving up on myself because things get too hard. Or I'll be like, man, fuck it. Like, just go back to my old ways and... and, and but I can't, though, you know, because at the end of the day, it's, it's really not going to help. And I'm not too much worried about it. Like, you know, it just runs across my mind because at times when things get hard, you easily resort back to things that you used to. And I can't do that in my book. So, like, and I don't know why I just caught these back downs, but these was my uh, secondary squats. Um, 250. It felt good. Like, I... I felt real good, you know. Um, on a good note, they stole my SPD singlet from where I'm at. That's okay, though, you know. That's okay. But um, for the most part, can't do nothing about that, but just keep going, you know. Uh, I got to keep a positive mindset. Like, everything around me has crumbled, but I just can't. Because the minute I do, it's going to be very bad. And I ain't, I ain't that type of person. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Keep pushing, keep staying positive, keep working, and and just remember like I ain't I I, I ain't where I want to be, but I ain't where I, where I was, you know. I used to be in a messed up position, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people can't say that I was a messed up person. I used to think messed up, but I just been like I said, just searching for the people that's like me, you know, like minded people, people taking care of themselves, people that want more out of life, not people that's okay with just just the normal. Like I got kids and. You know, they got aspirations and stuff like that. So it's like, I know how I feel to want to see your kids succeed and you got to succeed too because they follow in your footsteps. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about it. I haven't drank or smoked in almost four years. Well, it's been four years. And that's real, man. Like, some people, that's a habit that they can't knock. And I ain't knocking nobody for it. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's a form of crashing out too, just giving up on yourself, like doing the easy stuff. You know what I'm saying? If it was easy, everybody would do it. But the ones, us 5% and the 1% that do the hard stuff, man, shout out to y'all because people don't know day by day, it, it's, it's literally like you lose interest in going backwards and doing stuff that don't have nobody or don't help you. So I, I stick to the script, man. Like, maybe I didn't feel good this prep, like, towards the end and that's normal because a lot of things that contributed to it outside of the gym so it's like we only get better when it came to deadlifts I had to really 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 focus and what I, what I noticed is that I have to warm up more I have to get loose I have to pay attention to what I'm doing you know like with all intentions I don't be caring about people making poses and saying this and that but powerlifting is just lifting heavy weights the correct way that's all it's about you know what i'm saying i'm not knocking nobody if you, even if you lift the bar like i salute it but it's just a form of taking care of yourself you know what i'm saying so it's like some people call it a hobby and some people it's a passion it's a passion of mine it's not a hobby of mine you know yeah i work outside of this and whatever like but 
one thing I learned, like, when not crashing out, it's like I've been silent more. And you know how people will ask you things? And they ask you things so they could judge you off of it. So I'd rather not answer anything at all. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, working up to my top set, like I said, I felt good, man. I, just, I had to... I had to literally have tunnel vision like the horses do, you know? And it was key at this point. So when I did it, I kept going, kept going, warmed up, made sure that I'm bracing right, make sure that everything is the right way, you know? It ain't like I haven't did it before, you know? It was just like, it was just my mind thinking something else that it wasn't. Like overthinking can cause a lot of problems and we don't need those type of problems you know when it comes to being this close to the meat and just you know lowering the stress levels once again and not being so stressed out about certain things that i have no control over it. you get what i'm saying we gotta just keep going because like like i tell people man i used to, I used to be i used to be one of them people man where it's just like crash out time you know what i'm saying like when stuff get hard it's like forget it like it's ready just to go all in you know what i'm saying and and don't care about the consequences at all. Like I said, I used to be one of them people. But I always had a conscience to the point where it's like I couldn't do certain things because it'll mess up my morals and principles. You know what I'm saying? And some people not that way. And you can't expect people to be that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that goes out the window with certain people. But for us people that stand on business, man, you know it's standing on business in a real way, man. I just ain't never been that type of guy. You know what I'm saying? And, um... We just get better day in and day out. Like, that's the goal. Top set, smoked it, you see? Felt good about it, you know what I'm saying? But it was all in my head, though. So I felt good about it in my head. Like, I didn't even have to... I, I No celebration under that. Just walk away from it. Like, okay, cool. You did what you were supposed to do, Daryl. Do these back downs. And that's all it was, you know? Uh, just getting stronger and staying strong, not trying to get hurt, staying healthy, sleeping right. Doing everything according to how I'm programmed and how my body reacts to stuff and keeping it that way and keeping stuff to a minimum. If if I don't say anything, it ain't because I don't care or none of that stuff. But right now, I can't let nothing interrupt my peace, man. You know, people been doing that and it's not very good. You know, it's a bad thing, you know, at this point. But um, very excited to uh, be at the meet and do what I do and just get better, you know? If that's the thing, you know, to get better, just to get better. I feel good about being where I'm at in my head and I wanna do more, you know? And, and able for me to do more, I have to just keep putting up and keep going, you know? So I had work and work was work, man. You know, like I say, man, you, if you don't work hard, nothing comes from it, you know? I don't really, I, I really stop posting me working and stuff because it's certain people that just don't want to see greatness and it's like I can't have nobody mess up what I got going on like I done had people you know just try to mess it up you know so at the end of the day it's like when I'm working I'm working I'm locked in I'm doing on pose to not bothering nobody I don't bother nobody and that's a that's another thing when you don't bother people it seems like everybody wants to bother you you know what I'm saying but it's because you're doing the right things see when people doing the wrong things it's like if you 30 plus and you still like doing drugs, clubs, being messy and drama and all this, more than likely you will never have a, a life, you know? It's just going to be, your life going to be in shambles all the time. You're never going to really achieve nothing. But um, that's y'all. This is me. And like I said, I got to keep going, stay focused and make sure that uh, I dig myself out this hole, man, because like I say, crashing out is... Man, listen, that's, it's something else, bro. And a lot of people ain't going to understand that because a lot of people don't know how I feel. A lot of people grow up with lives where they don't have to worry about nothing, you know, just little things. But at the end of the day, I love you guys, man. And don't forget to lock in.